Hey guys, welcome back to Dude We Can Fix It. Today, I'm going to show you how to change a charcoal canister on a Chevy Suburban. Let's get started. So the symptoms that we're having is we have a code for a evaporative emissions leak, which I'll show you in a second. But also when you go to fuel the fuel tank, you can only pump for about 10 seconds at a time before the gas will backflow out of the filler neck because it is not circulating enough air to relieve the pressure. And this is our code here. It is a P0455 evaporative emission system leak detected. And so this is what we're going to attempt to fix today by replacing the evap canister. I'm going to use a 22 millimeter socket to remove the wheel. You do not have to do this. I'm doing it to attain better camera angles for you. So once you've located your charcoal canister, you're going to need to start removing these connectors. Use some channel locks or pliers to pry on the sides. So in theory, you should be able to squeeze these and these little prongs will go vertical. However, as you see, they're not doing very good because this is an older piece of equipment. So what I was doing in there that you couldn't see is I'm just taking this screwdriver, pushing the prong up, getting it past this lip and then doing the same thing on the other side then once they're like that you pry this whole thing off boom prong here and there you squeeze they go vertical however it was not enough to clear this uh this plastic lip right here so if you can't get it use a screwdriver next disconnect this electrical connector see that charcoal is coming out already okay there we are got them so actually when you're taking this apart these two hoses are the only two that you actually have to take off all right so now we're going to remove these two 13 millimeter bolts holding this bracket so now i'm going to show you what the original problem came from so the charcoal that's falling out of here, this gets sucked up into all of your evap hoses going to your gas tank and it doesn't allow air to circulate. So when you start filling your tank, there's nowhere for the air to purge out of. So your filler tube will actually back up and spew gas back out. So this is what makes it difficult for you to fill your gas tank. It can also create a vacuum inside of your evap system and make your truck not run correctly and set off your check engine light. So now what we need to do is take our shop vac and vacuum out all of these line sets to try to get charcoal out. You hear that? Look at that. All right, now to get even more charcoal out of the lines, I have just this uh, spray nozzle here, hooked up to compressed air. I'm going to wrap the end of this nozzle up with a rag, put it right in here, and pressurize the tank. You can see all these charcoal beads that just fell out on their own or got blown out when we uh, pressurized the tank from those hoses. So now what we wanna do is leave this gas cap off and go ahead and vacuum the lines out underneath one more time and that will allow more air to circulate through and hopefully get all the rest of the charcoal beads out. All right, so now we have our old canister still on the bracket right here and we have our new canister right beside us. Let's go ahead and take this 13 millimeter bolt out right here and we can slide this canister forward and off. Now let's go ahead and compare it side by side to our new canister. Make sure all the dimensions are the same, all the ports are the same, and make sure that these locating tabs in the bottom are also the same. Once you've done that, go ahead and use these locating tabs 
right here. Slide this into place. There we go. And then put your 13 millimeter bolt back in. Now this is ready to be reinstalled back in the vehicle. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and remount our charcoal canister. Set it in place, get your bracket lined up, and go ahead and put in your two 13 millimeter bolts. Yeah, now we just slap that in there, say good game, and start hooking up all of our EVAP hoses. So now we're just going to push this on until it clicks. Same thing here. sure they don't come back off on their own put this hose back on and pop this one back on make sure it goes all the way on and doesn't pull back off all right this wire goes over the top clip this connector back on boom and then it plugs in right here just like that can you see it I hope so. All right, now we're going to go ahead and erase the check engine codes. There we go. And that should clear the light off of the dash. Boom, perfect. Well, that's how you change a charcoal canister. Just wanted to let you know it's been a few weeks since we changed that and the check engine light has not come back on. Also, there has been no issues refilling the gas tank. So before where it would purge back out, no longer having those issues either. I hope this video was useful to you. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your bell notifications for future videos. As always, thanks for watching. Dude, we can fix it.